Welcome to the MCAD Multimedia Series, a MCAD analysis of John Maynard Keynes, The General Theory of Employment, Interest and Money. One man is widely accepted as having reshaped the study of economics and much of his terminology is still used today. John Maynard Keynes. His book, The General Theory of Employment, Interest and Money, was published in 1936. It presented an alternative argument that challenged the previous classical economist view of a self-correcting economy. Keynes argument was that employment levels were determined by aggregate demand rather than the price of labor. So economies could not be expected to automatically restore themselves after a temporary shock. So shall we put Keynes theory into action? Let's imagine a town where the main source of employment comes from a car factory. Everyone has a job that pays the going wage rate, either in the factory or in the service sector that supports it. For example, the restaurants where the factory staff eat. The town is in equilibrium. Then the car factory has a bad year. It sells fewer cars and that forces the owners to cut back on production. As a result, the company is forced to reduce staff numbers. This increases the amount of unemployed people, and because they need to find work, some will consider taking it at less than the going wage rate. Now, traditional economists believed that wages would decrease to a point where it made sense for the factory to re-employ staff, returning the economy to a natural equilibrium. Keynes disagreed. He believed that other businesses, reliant on the factory workforce as a source of demand, would see their businesses suffer as a result of the car factory redundancies. They might hold off on buying new company cars until conditions improve or cut down on their workforce too. This shortfall in demand could result in a downward cycle where less demand means less employment, resulting in prolonged underemployment. Keynes believed that activist government policy should be used to stimulate levels of demand and therefore boost employment. In the case of the town, the government might invest in road infrastructure. The workers building the roads would visit the restaurants, increasing their demand and enabling them to hire more staff. The restaurant staff would then need cars to get to work, so demand for the car factory would increase too. Government intervention, therefore, creates a virtuous economic cycle that stimulates employment. John Maynard Keynes was one of the most important thinkers of the 20th century. A more detailed examination of his ideas can be found in the McCad analysis.